Hey everybody, and welcome to a very special video. Today, we are going to take a trip down a memory lane. The nostalgia is real, people. We are going to be playing a little bit of Battlefield Vietnam. I was actually able, I have a physical copy of this game. I bought this when I was uh, much, much younger. And um, it was uh, quite a hassle to make it work on Windows 10, but I managed to do it. And we're going to play a few levels. Uh, over, of course, on my main channel, The Game Archivist, I will be doing a full um, playthrough of this. Uh, but that's, of course, also uh, without commentary, and I might do the same with commentary for the Kanoa channel. If you do any, know any cool mods for this game, because though the modding community for Battlefield Vietnam was not as big as Battlefield 1942, um, I should be able to still play them on this version, so let me know, and uh, we will see what we can do. Also, please head on over to the Game Archivist channel. You can find the link in the description. We just hit 30,000 subscribers there and 12 million views, so that channel is um, progressing really, really, really well. Uh, I could not be happier, and uh, I've been on this nostalgia trip as of late and been playing all kinds of older games. And Battlefield Vietnam is one of them. Uh, I would actually say that this is one of the most underrated Vietnam or Battlefield games, uh, or maybe a forgotten Battlefield game. But there's actually another one that I would label as the forgotten Battlefield game. And I wonder if you guys know which one I'm talking about. And just a little bit of a spoiler, I have that one, a physical copy as well, and hope to um, be able to play it as well. I will tell you this though as a hint, it is not Battlefield Bad Company 1, which was a console exclusive if I'm not mistaken, so is a little bit more rare uh, than some of the other titles in Battlefield. Anyway, let's actually now focus on Battlefield Vietnam itself. Though this is quite old and this was the second Battlefield entry, it is still a lot of fun and emphasizes kind of on what is wrong with Battlefield uh, today. And that is that, first and foremost, the fun factor should be uh, the number one spot. Though, as you can see here, it's also very crazy, but the crazy part is kind of also what makes it charming. One thing I cannot stand about the modern Battlefield games, but also, for example, the modern Battlefronts, are that in order to spawn in a vehicle, like, you need... Oh, that's more my guys. I don't have any anti-tank weapons, so I cannot deal with this tank. Just the regular grenades won't do me any good. But one thing I really hate about the more modern entries is that... Um, you know, you need to spawn in a vehicle after you got a certain amount of kills or points, etc. And here it's just easy where the vehicles are on the map, and if you're near one, just hop in, have fun. You know, it's this beautiful mixture between epic chaotic combat and an arcade feeling. You know, you hop in a, in a tank and are just off, and now, you know, you will kill the enemy. It's that easy. Oh, and there we go, and there we went. And I feel like they kind of forgotten about about that. I think they said that one of the reasons why uh, actually let's be an anti-tank weapon or unit in case that tank is still there. One of the reasons why they say, "Oh, there we go! Boom! Now we can take this." Oh no, that's a different one. Oh god. Stop shooting at me! One of the reasons why they say that they uh, use that system now, where... <sighs> saved by the car. Where you have to actually spawn into a vehicle, is so that... Um, oh my god, it went under! This game has actually some very decent hitboxes. It doesn't have very decent AI, though. Though I should say, I'm playing this on normal. Uh, you also can play it on hard and, like, uh, hardest. I was about to say, like, is there no one in that vehicle? But that gun is actually following me. 
But they say that they use that system where you spawn to the vehicle so that um, players will not steal a vehicle from you. Because usually what will happen is that everybody will just run to the vehicle and first come, first serve. And I know it kind of sucks if you want a specific vehicle and somebody takes it. But in all honesty, that's, that's how it is. It's a set number amount of vehicles works so much better. It's so much more fun and epic and chaotic. And it's it's absolutely wonderful. Like, I just took out those enemies in that car, and I could take that car and use it uh, for my own. Now, it's pretty busted up. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. They now took an enemy tank, and now I'm in one. Boom. There we go. It's that easy. Here we go. Actually got a... Uh, we got some paratroopers dropping in. It's so good. It's 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 fantastic. Now, ironic. Oh, we got a tank battle battle here. There we go. Again, so simple, but yet so awesome and satisfying. Shit. God, what happened to Battlefield, man? Oh my god! Did I kill myself? No. Uh, yeah, you know what? There's so many tanks about, I'll stick with this one. The main weapon is actually pretty good. <clears throat> oh look, we actually now have some American tanks at our disposal. So that's cool. Back when um, Battlefield Vietnam actually dropped, it wasn't necessarily a huge success uh, in how, uh, that Battlefield 9042 was. Mostly because some of the maps are really not... Oh, oh there you go. Not that well balanced. Um, and I remember definitely not playing this as long as Battlefield 9042. You know, in, in 9042, you have a lot of different theaters of war. You have the Eastern Front, uh, you have the Pacific, you have Western Europe, you have Africa. So there's a lot of variety there, and not that much here. There are 14 maps in Battlefield Vietnam, which again, is a lot, because nowadays, uh, games come out and they only have like four or five multiplayer maps sometimes. It's absolutely disgusting. But, most of the maps are jungle, uh... And even the ones that are sort of urban are kind of like that. So again, no, no, no one is in that tank. I could still destroy it or at least damage it in case one of them wants it. There's also a class that can repair it. I believe with Battlefield 2042, they brought back the classes. I actually didn't actually play Battlefield uh, 2042. I know it's on Game Pass, so maybe I'll give it a try someday. But <coughs> I heard such bad stuff that... um. Uh, let's see, we captured this point, so now we're going south again. This is actually sort of like a separate island. Uh, let's switch to first person, or third person real quick. I always love that they had this like sort of like cinematic camera as well. And, you know, things are just happening. That's what's so cool. It's so simple, and the maps themselves are not actually that big. That actually, that is a little bit of a downside to if you're in a plane. You know, basically you hop in a plane. Oh, that's actually one of ours. Uh, where do I need to go for this? Right. You hop in a plane, and um, every few seconds you need to turn again because you're at the edge of the map. I will say, uh, tell you this, though. It is an absolute blast playing this after so many years. There we go. Boom! Beautiful. Alright, so now I believe we actually have all of the capture points that are available. So their ticket number will actually deplete. We will do two missions uh, for this video. This is actually also good so that I can see for when I film for the Game Archivist how long a match will take. Because again, I, like I said, there are 14 maps. So if every map is like half an hour that's like seven hours 
Um, but I think some of the maps are a little bit shorter. Oh, wait a minute. Can I shoot it from the sky? Oh! That came right for me. I actually did a lot of damage. I think one game that's not necessarily modern, but more from like the, the more recent years that comes close to, you know, what Battlefield used to be and feel like is Ravenfield. And I haven't played Ravenfield on the Kanoa channel. I don't know if you guys would want me to. Uh, I own it, actually. Uh, so, it might be cool to actually give that a spin. I bought a new uh, PC uh, for work on the Game Archivist uh, with a RDX 4080. So, it's a beefy beast. And uh, it would be cool to actually play uh, Ravenfield and see uh, how many units we can have on the maps. I'm playing Battlefield Vietnam though on my old PC. Reason why is my new one does not actually have a uh, like a CD uh, drive thing. Uh, modern PCs, I guess, don't really have that yet because, truth be told, I don't often use CD-ROMs anymore. Oh my goodness, what is this? Again, it's so cool. I just I hop in, and it, oh, I see. This actually. I'm not actually in control of any guns. If I want to fire a weapon, I have to actually go into the gunner seat. And I'm not able to fire any lower, so... A little bit of a pickle here. Ah. See, I'm shooting over him. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a uh, anti-air weapon. I will tell you this: I'm uh, that guy's nice enough to not kill me. Let's go to their main. Uh, their main airport. I might actually have to ditch this vehicle. Here. Oh no, their main. I see. Their main airport is down south. Oh, there's also something here. You can actually see that the um, matches themselves actually last pretty long. One thing that's kind of weird to me is that we are losing. You would think that how we are doing and how many enemies we're killing, we would be winning, but we are not. be interesting to see if they have a flying vehicle we can take. <laughs> they are following me. Kind of like, hmm. You know what? Let's get into the car. Damn it. I want to use the car because that's probably faster than uh, this armor unit that I was in. See if we can shoot that out of the sky. There's always just something to do here. It's so good. Yeah, smoke's not helping though. Oh, boom! There we go. That's probably... There we go. Yep. That spawned a vehicle. Oh. See, it's easy. Vehicle is destroyed. Boom. Immediately new spawn. Okay. Flying vehicles is actually kind of difficult. <laughs> but we'll give it a try. 
I might prefer this view right here. Might be a little less realistic, but, you know. Is that a friendly? That is a friendly. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, that's dangerous to switch to a cinematic camera there. Uh, oh. That's enemy helicopter. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this one. Might also be for the video easier to see. Uh, oh god! Oh, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up! I actually have... Okay, I have rockets that do replenish. Oh, Jesus. And I have machine gun. Uh, question now is... What are we going to attack? It's a friendly... Oh! Oh, that was actually also a friendly tank. Um... Also friendly. We're kind of dominating in the sky uh, a bit. Let's just kind of two rockets here. Uh oh. I'll do one more run. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of flying vehicles. You have some that you know want nothing but, and it's kind of cool, especially if you do it multiplayer where. You know, you kind of give support to some of the units uh, by dropping bombs uh, or rockets. Uh, but in single-player mode, it's not that satisfying. Oh, hold on. We're gonna, that's a friendly chopper. That chopper just crashed. Oh, we're going in low. Oh, there. Oh, he got it before me. Damn it. Uh-oh. I killed a car without anyone in it. I did see that a plane took off. That's gonna be probably that one. All right, what we'll do, uh, if they took over some, uh, some points, what we'll do, and everybody does this in the battlefield back in the day, maybe they still do it, is you'll fly and then use your parachute to land safely. Might have uh, pulled the parachute a little too early. There's no actual parachute though that you see, which is a bit of a shame. Uh oh. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, love it. Love it. Oh, man. Oh, well, and that killed me. But was worth it. Was worth it. You can do so many crit. You know, uh, actually, fuck it. I was about to say, like, let's maybe switch it up and uh, do a different one. Probably in the next map, I'll be playing as the North Vietnamese. If I do all the maps, I'll probably switch it up. Like, one map uh, Americans, one map North Vietnamese. Ooh, look at that. We got a tank battle going on here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nope, give me that. Oh, well. Okay, sure. Where are you going to take us, AI? What are you shooting at? I guess you're shooting at the... <clears throat> at the plane. I really hate that they um, got rid of AI uh, in Battlefield. And I will say this, the single player mode is very simple. Like, it's just instant battle, so you just get the map and play it. But it's really good to 
um, get to know the map. And if you mess up or you do a team kill or whatever or you crash your plane, it doesn't matter that much. It's a bot match anyway. It's a great way to learn the mechanics without the pressure of like letting your team down. Uh, Rambo! Uh oh. Maybe I should have used this. I love that he actually brought us to their, uh... To their base. There's no capture point here, yet we go here. I think that's actually a, um... Oh, that hurts. Okay. Uh, I think that's, a like a car with a rocket launcher on it. Well, we got a victory. All right, guys, let's uh, do that again, but with a different map. All right, everyone, here we are in the next map, which is the battle that uh, is being portrayed in the movie We Were Soldiers with Mel Gibson. Uh, I believe this is the Ladrang Valley. Um, and this battle actually features... Uh, two maps in Battlefield Vietnam. This particular one is the valley itself, and the other one is a particular landing zone. Immediately being shot. Now, one thing that um, people criticize, because like I said, even though I love playing this, back in the day, Battlefield Vietnam did receive its fair share of criticism. And one thing was balance and there's another map that comes to mind i think it might be retaking way but um oh god uh this is a map that strongly favors one side and i don't really mind that it's not that well balanced it's the same with um, battlefield 9042 oh, jesus Basically, if you were playing the Omaha Beach map uh, as the Allied, uh, you were at a great disadvantage. But you kind of wanted that. You know, you kind of wanted that feeling of, oh my god, I'm on this beach saving Private Ryan, you know, screaming for your mother for help as the bullets, you know, zip by her head. I cannot get in this. Um, you didn't want it to be a cakewalk. And um, I understand that balance, you know, is important. Uh, you know, you want it to be playable or have a chance to win. Um, so, you know, both sides have something to, to say there, but I didn't really mind it. But this is definitely a thing where um, the Americans have two spawn points. One all the way up north, which is um, basically their airfield where they can send in reinforcements and supply drops. Uh, and then this particular one where all the soldiers are with not a lot of vehicles You can see though there are they are bashing me with anti-tank weapons dodge that one. Oh There we go And you can see by the score that we are winning quite badly uh, I upped the There's no real reason to use anti-tank here but I up the AI to hard so hopefully the AI is a little bit better though don't expect any miracles what do we got Probably when I do the video of all the levels, uh, I will do them in chronological order on how they sort of like unfolded. Though, from uh, the research I did, uh, all of the maps are already placed in chronological order. One of the, the series that I was kind of disappointed with that um, ended uh, on my channel was the... Uh, what was it called? Histories of like Battlefields of World War II. 
where basically with mods for Battlefield 9042, I would go chronologically through uh, the entire World War II history. Um, you know, start... I even start before the war actually <laughs> breaks out, but I start in Poland. And then even go to like Norway, Holland, Belgium, France, and I think I stopped somewhere there. Or I also like the, the Sino-Japanese war. Um, and in, in before each map starts, I give like a one minute or something uh, brief history with some historic pictures. Um, one of the reasons why I had to stop it, well first of all, it wasn't all that popular. Uh, nowadays, it gets a few more views, though, so some people wanted me to continue it, but um, YouTube thought uh, multiple times that it was not suitable for uh, advertisement, uh, which I don't really understand why. Maybe they thought, like, World War II was a sensitive topic, um, you know, because I made sure that, um, you know, even though some of the battlefields that I talked about were very gruesome... Uh, I made sure that there was no any graphical images uh, with the historic photos that I used. But, you know, YouTube gonna YouTube. Uh, hmm. Oh. Gotta wait for the next spawn round. But yeah, we are already over a hundred units uh, away. They have not been able to dent us in any way possible. Oh, there we go. Now they got some vehicle support here, and it might be worth... ...making a uh, anti-tank unit. They destroyed some of our vehicles. I'm just checking if a new one spawned at our base. Another cool feature that people talked about back in the day, which I didn't really use, is that if you get in a vehicle, you can turn on the radio and play like the iconic rock music uh, from that era, and um, it would be proximity based. So. Uh, hmm. So enemy units would even hear it uh, if you would be coming close. And of course the reason why enemies would want to hear it is that famous scene from Apocalypse Now um, where they play, what is it, Wagner? Like Flight of the Valkyries uh, in the helicopter. You know, kind of to replicate that. So for example, I, I would hear the music coming from that... Uh, that helicopter. Now, they, I will never do this, and I'm actually glad it won't, because, again, with YouTube and copyright, mm -mm, that's not a good thing. Alright, let's actually hunt that tank we saw earlier. Huh? I see you. I see you, G.I. Oh, I got it. Cool. Oh, here we go. Shit. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh. What do I do? Oh, my God. I got hit by the... Uh, I may Maybe the gunner on top. Mm, let's go here. I will say this. This map is a lot less fun than uh, the previous one. In the previous one, you have just, you know, everything is happening. And again, here, it's not that much of a challenge. They are now trying to capture this point, though. That is interesting. Oh, hey. I would like to be driver, please. Though I can only drive. I am not able to shoot, so I am completely dependable. On my AI gunner. We don't actually have anything to uh, do with the tank, so I still have to actually switch to my... 
RPG. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, took a lot of damage. Killed that guy. I actually wonder if we can take over their main uh, post over here. Huh, we can. Interesting. Oh my god, we captured it. Holy sweet Jesus. Oh, wait, actually, I took some damage. There we go. Everybody out. There it is. You and me have something to settle. Ah, uh, there's some bullet drop, and in case, in this case, rocket drop. I might have hit it. I don't know. Oh, shit. Ugh. Damn it. That tank is uh, one hell of a beast. We still have not been able to take it down. Though they have less than uh, 100 reinforcements, so we will be finishing this shortly. Alright. Not a great spawn point. I don't know how useful this is. Like, this is cool. And you'll do a ton of damage. But. You have very poor visibility. I mean, you have three over here, right? Uh, so, if actually three players will m man this, you can create this sort of like zone of death. But again, visibility is very limited. I wonder if you, because I forgot if that's a thing, if you could like have like a spotter or something that gives away like the position to where, oh, that's one of ours. To where you have to aim to call in the support. Oh, I got him. Got him too. Jeff Ross. <laughs> They're still not able to actually take this back. I assume that the tank by now has been taken care of by another AI, which was a shame. I kind of hoped to settle the score with him because I think he cost me like three or four lives. No, nope, he's still here. What a beast. Incredible. That tank is the MVP of this battle. That is Mel Gibson in that tank right there. Oscar Carter is his name, but that might be the gunner on top. Wow, what? I actually forgot that you can actually uh, customize your character a little bit too. If you want. They only have 32... Oh, here he is. Oh my god, he still survives it. Uh, no, it's somebody else. Oh, no, wait. I got that. I got the kill there, actually. Or, no, actually, what might have happened is I got the kill for the gunner in the turret. 
Oh, there's a second tank. Problem is that it's not doing that much damage if I hit him from the front. It actually does have a little bit of armor, um, like an armor system. There we go. Scott Abdi. Well, you're no longer with us, Scott. Need only nine more kills. Another tank, huh? I only have one left. Alright, guys, that was it. Uh, let me know what you think of Battlefield Vietnam if you want to see more. Like I said, I do want to also do like every level on the Kanoa channel with commentary, but be sure to check out the Game Archivist uh, channel. You can find the link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.